Hey guys, it's Constance with Butterfly Mom Creations and More, and I'm back with some friend mail from my best friend, Marina, from Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. And so I want to start off by, let's see, I'm going to cover up, make sure her address isn't showing. Okay. So this is what it looks like, the top of the box. It, it comes in a trash bag, a box wrapped in a trash bag with a label. And it's called pirate shipping. This is how we ship things back and forth to each other. And I will link it down, her video down below in my description box. So y'all guys can check it out. It's the cheapest way to um, ship your items that are heavy and they're in boxes um we've been doing it for a long time it's the, it's the best rates out there um it's easy to do um with easy to follow um descriptive rules um and you just choose in the drop down box uh choose box in a bag and what you do is you wrap your box like a present inside of a black trash bag and then you put your label on the outside of the black trash bag and that's where it looks like this and I just cut this off the top of it or whatnot you take it to the post office and you hand it over to the post office lady and they ask no questions a lot of people ask that they ask no questions and you just go on on your way your way and it's um, priority mail two-day delivery now used to it was three now it's two-day delivery it's got insurance on it and um, that's all you do so I just wanted to talk a little bit about that so that y'all would know that that option is out there there's other options in the drop-down box you can ship things in bags too but for things that are heavy and you have to ship in a box this is the cheapest way to go um, things that would cost $22 you can ship for $9 in a box um, so and it'll tell you your savings in the box in the thing too what you would ship what what you would pay at the post office with a slash through it what you're paying through pirate shipping and it's pretty accurate you do have to weigh your box um, and you do have to measure the length and width of your box and that's it so anyway enough talking about pirate shipping um, I will um, again link that in the description box below um, Marina's um, video and make sure to check that out and if you're not subscribed to her channel make sure you go over check her out and show her some love um subscribe to her channel and tell her that and tell her that butterfly mom creation some more sent you over um let's get started and let's see what she sent me so the first thing that she sent me that i can't wait to show you and it's and i'm excited is is the gnomes so here's the first gnome and this is the little female with the white cap with the red hearts isn't it precious isn't it precious isn't it precious it's gorgeous and she sent me these and this is the male with his fluffy beard with the red hat and the white hearts on his hat. And I think they're just absolutely gorgeous. This is the pink female with her little braids and her pink sequins on her hat. And this is what she looks like. And they are like 14 inches tall, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me perfectly on that but I think that's what they said on the website but and then you have the male 
with his fluffy beard and his red sequin hat. And that's what he looks like. So I was super excited when I received these in the mail. So I wanted to show those. And then she sent me this hot pink tree that I want to share with y'all that was a Christmas tree but had Christmas little Christmas balls on it so you pick all the little balls off of it and you can turn it into a Valentine's tree so that's what I'm gonna do right after this video but I did get all the Christmas balls off of it and it was very easy but this is what it looks like and I'm so excited it needs some love and it needs some care just like any other Christmas tree does um, just like your regular Christmas tree you know it needs to be but this is what it looks like and I think it's perfect for Valentine's Day I'm so excited about it so I was surprised to see and receive this in the mail so Props to you, Marina. Thank you for sending me this. This is pretty awesome. I love it. So, I was happy about that. Because I, when I opened the box and I was like, what in the world did she send me a hot pink Christmas tree for? So, um, so I was super excited about that when I seen it. So, some of the other things that she sent me was, and I think she mentioned them in her video, one of her videos a while back was that she was sending me these. So here's a yellow butterfly. And these are butterfly decorations is what it says. 7.72 inches, inches by Floral Garden. So there's the yellow one. She also sent me a purple one. I think that's purple, or is it fuchsia? I think it's fuchsia. She sent me a um, teal. And they have clips on the back. And then she sent me a purple one. So you can tell the difference between it, these these two side by side. So it's like, it's like a fuchsia pink color and then this one's a purple color. So I love those. So those will go in my Christmas tree next year. In my butterfly Christmas tree. So I was super excited about those. She also sent me these, the Coconut Patty Minis, um, creamy coconut covered in a rich, dark, chocolatey coating, and they're bite size. She sent me two bags of these because I've never tried these. We haven't gotten these before, and she was telling me all about these, so she wanted to send me a couple bags so I could try them. So... Now I get to try them, which makes me feel good because now I have some comfort food. I'm about to have back surgery on Friday, so I'm pretty sure this will come in handy when I'm feeling a little bit down and, you know, not feeling so well. I'll have some little goodies I can snack on. Um... She also sent me the Scrumptious Wafer Rolls Chocolate Cream Field. I have not tried these yet, so I'm excited to. I can't remember the name of them, but they come in the tin jar, the round jar. I've tried those before. Those are really good. So if these are anything like those, I'm, I'm down for it. So she sent me those. And then she also sent me the Scrumptious wafer rolls in hazelnut cream field my daughter my youngest daughter is going to love this because she loves the um hazelnut 
um, dip with the little sticks. I can't think either what I can't think right now um, what the name of that is, but they usually come in the little snack packs or whatever with the little breadsticks or whatnot. So she sent me those. She also sent me the Betty Crocker Brittle Mix Peanut. <laughs> No mixing needed. I have never seen this before. It looks like this. Here, I'm not sharing. <laughs> sharing is caring. Um, let's see. It says, you'll need a cookie sheet. You'll heat the oven to 350. You'll spread the brittle onto an 8 by 8 inch square greased cookie sheet and bake to 13 to 21 minutes or until dry mix has turned golden brown. Watch carefully. If using a non-stick pan, shorten bake time by two minutes. Cool complete, completely on pan, about 30 minutes. Remove brittle from, from pan. Break into pieces. Store in an airtight container. Wow, you don't do anything to this except for spread it on a pan, put it in the oven, bake the powder or the mix and let it, I guess, bubble and get golden brown. And then when it you take it out the oven, let it cool and then break it. That's pretty cool. You don't add anything to this mix. I have never seen this before. I think that is pretty cool. So thank you, Marina. Thank you for everything so far um i see a mirror um that says a beautiful thing is never perfect thank you i love this some of this stuff i haven't seen um so i'm getting down to like the bottom i haven't seen like what's down here um okay there's a red sequin bag i did see this but i haven't opened it so there's stuff in here um this is the magic sweet sequin bag where you um that silver underlaying so let's see what's inside okay she sent me the bubble tea hibiscus and asahi berry tea melting oil pearls infused with essential oils nice i've not seen this before i hear it i was gonna say it must be sealed i'm sitting here gonna smell it and it's sealed <laughs> Guys. Let's see what it smells like. Oh, this smells good. The foil is sticking to my fingers. drop one runaway bubble tea okay so this is what they look like that's pretty cool so those are what they look like they smell good um and I wonder, it says, does it tell you? Okay, drop one to two pearls under warm running water for the pearl to burst and release bath oil. Swirl the water to mix the oil well and evenly. Okay. Thank you. Okay, she sent me the Flower Beauty... 
lip gloss in number 25 molten which is absolutely gorgeous and then she sent me the um, lip gloss in flower beauty in number 35 called lava which is absolutely gorgeous So thank you, Marina. I, I love the Flower Beauty lip glosses. They're actually really gorgeous. And I love this sequins bag. This is so Valentine's. Oh. Did I already show this? Okay, no, I didn't. There's okay. She sent me two packages of the Sai um, packs. It's a pack of three reusable makeup removing rounds. She sent me two packs. So let's open them up and see. Those are the silicone beads that fell. Oh wow, these feel really good. You can see the fuzziness and like how soft these are. These are nice. And they're very, very, very squishy. Foam, like foam like. So I can see like how that would be very soft around the eyes or gentle on the eyes wow I appreciate those thank you here's some bubble wrap we save bubble wrap around here Okay, she sent me the EAD Blossom Beauty, which is the dupe for cherry blossom or Japanese cherry blossom from Bath and Body Works. This is the only one I didn't buy at Christmas, so I already know that the lotion doesn't smell but the perfumes are worth it. I just didn't buy this one, but I'm kind of intrigued. So I'm not wearing any perfume, so I wanna spray it. Oh wow, that smells very good. Oh, it smells so good, it's almost got I mean, you can definitely smell like cherry blossom, but it's almost got like a powdery smell behind it, like a, a it's like a super softness, like a soft smell behind it. It smells really good. I really like it. She's right, because she told me, she was like, oh, you're going to like this. I can't believe you didn't buy that one, but it smells really good. She sent me the notepad, I can do all things through Christ, Philippians 4.13. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I've been doing some Bible journaling, and I, re I really like this. Let's see. Oh, it's got a different saying on every page from a different chapter in the Bible so um, for by grace one you saved through faith and that not of yourselves it is the gift of God Ephesians 2 8 
In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. John 1.1. 1, 1. Wow, that's the first one. I love that. Thank you. I love this notepad. I love it. Thank you. What else did she send me? Oh, wow. She sent me the BYS On The Go Peach Palette. And I'm not going to do it on this video, but I know that she's sending some other stuff um, that she wants me to um, do in a separate video, like open and swatch or open and um, like calendar stuff. So what I'll do is I'll make a whole video on like swatching and opening the calendar stuff for y'all. So I'll swatch that and do a calendar do the do the calendar video um like the the she had some kind of diamond thing um where she wanted right where, where you open it and each one has like a, a new piece of makeup i mean like a new has something different in each one it was in a giveaway that she did or is doing um so and um if you had wanted to know what it was Anyway, she's sending one to me to open on my channel. Um, so, I think there's several things she's sending this way. So, I'm going to do a separate video for those things. Um, so, I'll do some swatching and opening, like, calendar type things um, in one whole video. And just make a whole video of it is what I'll do. Um, she sent the Milani Prime Shield Face Primer. We have not had this here. No, we have not had any Milani pro uh, like products whatsoever show up here where I'm at. So I'm happy to get that. She sent the CoverGirl True Blend. Serving Sculpt Palette number 500 Bloom Babe Wow, this is absolutely stunning Look at the colors on that That is a blush, a highlighter, and a bronzer and they're very fragile because I remember having to Google this for her because they they break very easily. So I don't know how that got here in one piece. She sent me the Milani number zero four radiant. This is what it looks like. She sent me the Milani Ludicrous Lights um, Highlighters, one in Peach Ella, number 120. Wow, look at that. Is that not gorgeous? Let me see. Is that not let's... 
Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. How the light reflects off that. That is absolutely gorgeous. I have it open. I might as well swatch it. It's been so long since I swatched anything. I don't know how I used to do it. And that's what it looks like. That is gorgeous. Um, she sent the Milani Ludacris lights in Pinkaroo, number 100. That's gorgeous. You can see it through the plastic. That is super pink. That's gorgeous. And then she sent the Ludacris, the Milani Ludacris lights in La 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 Plusa. Say that 10 times fast. Number 110 in this gorgeous teal blue color. That is absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Then she sent the Milani strobe light in champagne. I did a lot and look it was clear I should have showed you that before I did it but it's a it comes this is a clear applicator right here until you squeeze it up through the top so sorry guys I should have showed you that I didn't mean to do that it's been so long since I've done stuff I, I can't I, I ain't even can't even remember how to do stuff and I did squeeze out a lot so you're gonna see a lot of this and it's champagne and it really is a champagne color not even gonna lie and this is gonna go right over the Milani um, highlighter the pink that I or peach color that I put on but look at that look at that shine so you don't need a whole lot you need just a tiny little bit of it for one i'm swatching on the wrong hand but it's gorgeous she sent me the Ioni nail clippers with the catcher with the nail clipper um, it's got like a, a um, thing inside that holds the nail clippings and these are pink she sent me the Ioni black mascara dramatic black The Ioni Face Hydration Primer. The Ioni Face Finishing Spray. The Ioni Liquid Lipstick 
in it says it's comfortable long-lasting matte finish in cranberry is that not gorgeous that would be wonderful for Valentine's Day she sent me the Ioni tweezers in teal actually like Tiffany blue She also sent me the highlighting brush. That's awesome. She sent me the Ioni Face Highlight and Bronzer in Golden Glow. She also sent me some Pond's Pure Detox Facial Foam. I have not seen this. I haven't seen any of the Ioni, that Ioni line in any of my stores either, but I haven't seen this, like this form or anything of the ponds that looks like this. Oh, about missed you. Um, a liquid cat suit, mega last. Wet and Wild in this is a wet and so this is a wet and wild mega last liquid cat suit in peach stole my look. Is that not gorgeous? That also would be very pretty for Valentine's Day. And Last but not least, the last three items, she sent me the Freeman Gold Sheet Mask for brightening. And this is in gold. She sent me the Rose Gold Sheet Mask for soothing. She sent me the silver sheet mask for purifying. That is awesome. And you know what? It even shows on the top of the masks that it's just for the top of the face, if you notice that. Just for the top of the face. Not for the whole face. The top of the face. I just noticed that. Wow. Interesting. So anyway, that's it guys. Um, that's all she sent. Um, thank you, Marina. I appreciate you a whole bunch. Um, thank you for everything you sent. Um, I love you with all my heart. Um, thank you for being such a wonderful friend. And um, thank you for being my moderator um thank you for everything that you sent um thank you everyone for coming to my premiere um and thank you for supporting me and for um still still being on this journey with me even though it's been kind of choppy um, I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Um, 
I enjoy being in the premieres with everyone and being able to talk to everyone and, and making friendships with everyone. Um, I appreciate every one of y'all. Um, and until next time, remember, we rise by lifting others. Love you all. Bye.